Cooper is a lively 20-month-old who loves his toys, playing with his older siblings, and feeling the love only a mother can give. Cooper also happens to be HIV positive. He was born with the disease. Both his biological parents died from it in Ethiopia. And when Tim and Anna Dreyfus started the adoption process, the idea of adopting a baby with HIV left them wondering if they could raise a sick child. But soon the question became, how could they not? If you think about your own children, if they were without parents, what that would be like. When you think about him and he has no parents, mm -hmm. he had no parents out there. I mean, if you have room in your home, why wouldn't you take them in? Pioneers for a misunderstood disease. Cooper and the Dreyfus family have become ambassadors, already changing many stigmas. Are we going to get HIV if we come in contact with them? Can our kids play at your house? All that stuff. Um, <clears throat> that, that helped a lot when we educated them and they realized they're no, at no more risk than they are at going to school or anywhere else. If our doctors have told us he can have children, he can be married, have children, and not pass it on um, if he's at undetectable levels. Uh, but we just have to be honest, and he, he's going to have to understand that his world is just a little bit different from everybody else's. A life once full of uncertainty now is filled with the family and the love that comes with it. It was like he was already part of our family. He wasn't any, he was just a Dreyfus kid. How could mom and dad love him like, he lo that, like they loved us? I love him just as much, and I don't know how it happened. I can't explain it, but I do. And they say, just imagine that they're one of us, and, they, and they're, and he's like, just like us, not so curly hair, not so, not the skin color, it's just, now I know to really look into them.